Hello again, people. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the state of Hawaii. Got another one-acre property this week in the Ocean View Estate subdivision. I really like this sub. Uh, for those of you who come to the website regularly looking for investment property, looking for property that you can buy to help build some sort of land investment portfolio, some sort of real estate investment portfolio, um, you will be hard-pressed to find a better sub uh, in Hawaii County than this one, I believe, particularly as far as price goes, on a price per acre basis, the lots out here uh, are, are you know super affordable, number one. Number two, uh, because we are wholesalers here at Hemingway Land, we are able to undercut even realtors uh, in the area and sell these properties at uh, an even better price. So for those of you who are looking for land that you can buy and hold, buy and flip, buy and sell on terms, um, this these are really good deals, number one. Number two, if you're looking for property that you can buy and build on, uh, you will be hard-pressed to find anything in a more idyllic location in Hawaii County that is more affordable than this. So, point being, I really like these properties, and I believe you will too. Let's get into the specifics. This is reference number HIHI3013, located as noted in Hawaii County. That's the Big Island. Uh, one acre lot in the Ocean View Estate subdivision, and as you saw up top, that one acre lot is priced at $5,300. So, Let's bring this up on a map. As with all of our properties, come down here on the listing page, click any one of these GPS coordinates, and boom, it shall appear here on the Google Maps. So before we get into property specifics, let's talk about this subdivision and the region in general. Um, as noted, it sits here on the Big Island, all of which is considered Hawaii County. It's down here in the southern portion of the county. Um, this entire area that you see carved out here on the map, this is Ocean View Estates right here. Um, this has very easy access down here to the Hawaiian Belt Road, a.k.a. the Mamaloa Highway, a.k.a. Highway 11. So it's really right at the base uh, of this subdivision. Now, as you can see here, all these white specks all throughout the sub, these are all homes that are built in this region, uh, really occupying all portions of the subdivision. Uh, the reason that is is because you have power and you have paved road access to all of the lots in the subdivision or pretty much all of the lots in the subdivision. Uh, paved roads really all throughout. It should also be noted that this property sits basically on the side of um, a mountain slash dormant volcano. Uh, so the elevation changes as you go further and further up. The uh, further north you go in the subdivision, the higher the elevation is. And yet there are pa there's paved roads really all throughout the region, as well as power. Power is fairly ubiquitous. It should also be noted that down here at the base of the sub, you have uh, some stores. You have a hardware store down here. If you're going to start building out here, you're going to have easy access to, to supplies, things like that, as well as grocery stores, gas stations, things like that, markets. Uh, so on and so forth. Point being, right here at the base of the subdivision, you'll have easy access to those sorts of amenities. And of course, most notably, you have easy access to the shore, to the beaches down here, the Papakalea Green Sand Beach here in the southern portion of the island, the Punalu'u Black Sand Beach here in the eastern portion, the eastern coastline, and the Mila Lee Beach right over here. Should be noted, guys, that if we right-click and measure distance to any one of these, you're going to see it's, let's say, roughly 15 miles down here. Uh, that being said, that's as the crow flies. Practically speaking, to get from your property, drive the car down, park it, uh, hike, bike, whatever, walk down to the beach, it's roughly, let's say, about 30 minutes. Uh, that being said, these properties in Ocean View Estates, uh, as the name suggests, all have ocean views. So even if you're not able to make it down to the beach every day, you will be able to enjoy, uh, depending on where you are in the region, some sort of view of the ocean, etc. So... With all that said, let's zoom in and talk about specifics. This property is a corner lot. Uh, it's rare, it's exceptional for us to get corner lots. Uh, when we get them, they don't last long. The point being, we've got one. It sits here at the corner of Hukalau Drive, Hukalau, as well as Pineapple Parkway. Uh, and if we go here to map view, you can see an uh, overlay, plat overlay of the region. This is the lot in question. And this is a replica of what the plat would look like uh, out here. And by the way, guys, if you don't believe me, uh, come back here to the listing page, scroll all the way down, you'll see number one, our Google Earth overlay of the property to give you a sense of the exact size, shape, location of this piece of real estate, as well as the plat map. Uh, so this is the plat map of the region, and up here, the one in turquoise is the property in question. Now, I just want to make you guys aware. So, typically when we list these one acre lots, we start them at about $6,000. This one is priced a little under that at $5,300, uh, because Despite all my yammering about there being power all throughout the subdivision, this is one of the few lots in the entire subdivision that does not have a power line on the property itself. The nearest power is 
My photographer did not give me an exact measurement of this, but he said it's very close. If I zoom in here on the map, you can see this is, I know you can't really tell, but this is a power line right here. It's roughly about 500 feet from the boundary of the subject property. Uh, there's power extending up and down this road. You can see a little bit of it right here. Here's the other one, so on and so forth. Um, and if we go to the photo gallery, you'll see more of that. Additionally, there's power on Hukalau, but it's a little further down. So your nearest power line is roughly about 500 feet from the property. Likely not difficult or expensive to get extended out to the property. I would suggest that because of the ubiquity of power within this region, it's you know it's probably the local power company is is likely going to be extending it out there anyway at some uh, you know later date probably pretty soon but uh, point being if you're going to be buying the land specifically buying to build on it uh, you will likely want to reach out to them and talk to them about getting power hooked up to the property and the cost so on and so forth we'll get back to that in a second i want to attention <clears throat> i want to direct your attention guys uh back down here to the photo gallery uh, first off, we have uh, some photos from the base of the subdivision, what I was referencing earlier, the local gas stations, the local post office, some shops, so on and so forth, uh, as well as the local hardware store. Uh, you saw the veterinarian clinic right here. You also saw, well, more of the hardware store, so on and so forth. Uh, but we also have photos uh, from the, um, really the subdivision itself. So you can see there's a little baseball field out here in the subdivision. There's uh, some parks, things like that. Uh, as well as, I hate to be clicking around this much, I'm sorry, but I think the photos got reorganized. Uh, there's also um, a little bar and grill here at the base of the subdivision, as well as, um, well, a church. You've got a church down here. Uh, and then you've got some parks out in the region. This is one of the parks in Ocean View Estates. Now, <clears throat> once you get down here, this next set of photos, these are from the property itself. As with all of our properties, we get photos taken from the parcel that we are selling. So, this first photo will give you an exact sense of exactly how far uh, power is from the property. Not very far. You know, it's likely that the local power company is going to be extending it up the street any day now, but who knows. Uh, point being, these are photos from the property. And as you can see out here at the corner of Hukalau and Pineapple, you've got a lot that is comprised um, primarily like a lot of the rest of the properties in this region of this sort of lava rock as well as these ojai trees. And... If you flip through the gallery here, you're going to see much more of that. Here's one of your neighbors out here, uh, etc. So this is the sort of thing that if you are going to build on this property, you'll want to get what's called a grubbing and grading permit. Uh, obviously, anybody who's building in this region has to get one of these, so they're fairly easy to get. Um, talk to the county about that. But point being, basically what you're doing is you're renting a bulldozer and you're getting the land dozed, quote-unquote dozed, um, Bulldozer rental, by the way, how hard is that Hemingway land? Well, from our understanding, it's actually pretty easy out there. A lot of people get this sort of thing done. Uh, so to get the land sort of excavated or flattened out or however you want to say it, uh, landscaped, if you will, uh, you're going to be hiring somebody with a bulldozer. They're going to come out there and do this. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I will let you guys flip through the photo gallery on your own. I will, however, direct your attention to some of the last few photos here where you can see, again, one of your neighbors with power going to their property, as well as some of the aforementioned ocean views that we were discussing uh, earlier. There's really there's a variety of ocean views from all the properties in this region. Some are a little better than others. Uh, I'm not necessarily pitching this one because of its ocean views, but they are there. And as noted earlier, because of the, the sort of rise in elevation as you go here, uh, you're going to have unobstructed views of the ocean uh, probably for years to come. Unless somebody builds a skyscraper right over here, uh, you're likely going to have those ocean views for a long time. All right, guys, with all that said, some other things I want to make you aware of. Annual taxes on this property are $200 annually. That's uh, You can pay that $100 in February and $100 in August. They make it easy on you. Additionally, there's a road maintenance fee of $150 a year, uh, which I believe is also broken up into two seventy-five dollars payments. Now, just very quickly, down here under county contact information, we have some links that will be helpful for anybody who's looking at this property, thinking about it seriously. You want to do some research. You want to learn more. Um, my knowledge of this is obviously limited, so we give you some excellent resources uh, to reach out to, contact them, and you can talk more about it. First, is the Ocean View Community Association. This is not a formal HOA, guys. They don't charge you any money. Uh, what they do is they sort of organize community events, uh, build a sense of community out there, try to attract businesses to the region, so on and so forth. Uh, point being, if you do have questions about living out there or about you know what the likelihood of power being extended out in that region is, things like that, uh, they will be an excellent resource to talk to. Additionally, we have the HOVE Road Maintenance Corp. These are the people who charge this uh, $150 road maintenance fee. 
Uh, we have a link to their website. They recently redid their website. It's very nice. Uh, anyway, if you come down here, they talk about the uh, payments that are due. And then they say, reminder, we are court mandated, not an HOA, which makes me think they get that question a lot. Whatever the case, you can read through here, uh, see all about their plans for um, road maintenance in the area. Obviously, I think $150 a year is uh, pretty reasonable uh, considering the amount of maintenance that they do out there. Uh, keeping that whole area paved and well maintained is probably a big job. So, not an unreasonable cost, I don't believe. Anyway, Additionally, we also have some links here like the Hawaii Electric Company, uh, Helco as it's called. You know, these are the people who you should reach out and talk to. Say, hey, if I'm looking to build on a property, I know you've got power roughly about 500 feet down the road. What's it going to take to get that extended out to my property? Uh, they can better advise you on that about cost. You'll be surprised sometimes uh, power companies will hook you up for free because they know they've got a paying customer. Uh, other times it's, you know, you're paying whatever, a couple hundred dollars to have a pole or two poles extended out to a property, something like that. So. Hopefully, uh, you'll look at it the way that I do, which is that we have this priced under our normal price. The amount of money that you save there can be put toward that, uh, and then it'll bring you out about even on this purchase. Blah, blah, blah. It should also be noted, guys, we get this question a lot about how do you get water to a property out here. We have a link to this website. This is a vendor out there. Uh, they build rainwater catchment tanks, holding tanks. <clears throat> which are fairly common in this region. Uh, pretty much all the homeowners in this subdivision and a lot of homeowners in Hawaii have this. They have it for two reasons. Number one, because a lot of Hawaii is built on a, you know, essentially volcanoes. Uh, so you're not going to drill down. You're not going to do what you would do in other parts of America, drill down to some water table. Um, instead, because they have so much rain out there, uh, it's easy to have a rainwater catchment tank that um, will be able to supply uh, drinking water, bathing water, etc., to a home. Now, of course... These are the people who you would direct questions to, like my house is going to be X amount of square feet. How many, you know, X gallons do I need to have on a property at once? Uh, practically speaking, what is the cost of installing one of these things? How long does it take to do that? So on and so forth. So we provide this link so you can call a vendor in the local area who specializes in this sort of thing and direct questions like that to them. Um, yeah. Anywho, aside from that, we also have some other helpful links here. We also have things like points of interest. Obviously, there's a bajillion things to do in Hawaii, but the big one here, aside from you know all the beaches and everything, Big Island Travel Guide, if you click this link, it's going to bring it up here in this window, and you're going to see there's, as noted, a bajillion things to do out here. Uh, you can explore this website, give you a better idea of everything that is really available in this area as far as, I don't know, snorkeling and rock climbing and, and ATVs and, and you know hiking and camping and tours and all sorts of things like that, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, guys, with all that said, if this is a property that you're looking at seriously and you do want to purchase, I suggest you come up here, click the Buy Now button. It's going to take you to Secure Checkout page. Um, if you do not have a credit card that can accommodate the $5,300 purchase price plus the $150 doc prep fee, just give us a call, 702-919-7170. If you want to spread this out over two or three credit cards, something like that, uh, we will gladly accommodate that. Pretending for two seconds that you do have a credit card that can't accommodate that, we're going to ask you for a couple questions here. Legal name for deed, who, you know, you, your wife, your spouse, your siblings, your children, who do you want on this deed, so on and so forth. I should have added your husband, your wife, your husband. Uh, marital status, um, et cetera, and then tax address. Where's the county going to send the annual tax bill? Agree to the terms, click the next page, and on the next page you can enter credit or debit card information to purchase the property. Now, guys, a couple things. So the way that this works... Uh, is we have an attorney in Hawaii who drafts all of our deeds plus supplemental documentation from us. We actually do a little bit of a write-up down about it down here. You can read this, but to reiterate what it is, is you put down the money on the property. We're going to contact our attorney. They're going to draft all of these deeds. They're going to tell us they'll have it done in about 24 hours. Realistically, it's more like a couple days, uh, you know, three or four days. Point being, we're going to get back to you within a handful of days with a copy of the new deed, the supplemental docs. Once you approve them, once you tell us that, yes, we spelled your name right, things like that, we're going to autograph it, notarize it, and mail it off to our attorney to get recorded with the county. Uh, once recorded, we will then forward on to you first an email version of the recorded deed, and then eventually it will show up in the mail uh, probably within about three weeks, something like that. Um, now, it should be noted, guys, a couple other things. If you do want to purchase this property but you don't have the full amount of money, we do not like to finance property. Uh, thankfully, however, there is a uh, Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Uh, this little paragraph down here deals with this. But basically, they are a, a, it's a credit union that lends on vacant land, which is difficult to find. Uh, we link to their website here, 4.75% uh, APR uh, interest rate on 
loans like that. Uh, again, we have not dealt with them personally. I can't speak to their lending program. That being said, from everything I've read on the website, from everything I've heard, they seem like a reliable lender. And it's certainly a better alternative than it would be if we financed the property because quite honestly, I can't afford to finance things at something as small as 4.75%. I'd have to finance this at a, at a much higher rate. Uh, something that I don't feel comfortable charging people. And uh, yeah, the only way I really come out ahead on something like this is if you're taking on you know roughly like a 15 or 17 percent interest rate blah 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 so again i don't like to do that um so yeah oh also guys quick thing if you do want to close on this with title insurance if you're uncomfortable about uh you know just paying somebody five thousand plus dollars on a website uh you want to close on this through a title company which would be a you know a neutral third party that would handle the the recording of the deed would handle the uh, disbursement of the funds very easy to do. If you just come up here to how it works, the buying from us page, it's going to take you here. It's going to discuss how we do that. Now, I generally don't suggest this to, to buyers unless you're spending over $10,000, but I'll do it if you want for a $5,000 property. It's not difficult. Uh, point being, this is how it works. We'd ask you for some kind of deposit, let's say $500. You do that. We're going to draft a sale purchase agreement. Uh, you sign it, we sign it, we submit it to the title company, they will do the rest. And basically the benefit here for you, if you are skeptical about doing business with an online land seller, uh, is that we cannot touch your money until such time as the property has been conveyed to you. By the way, guys, if you click this link right here, it will take you to a version of, a generic version of one of our standard contracts. Uh, this will give you a sense of what exactly we'd be asking you to sign. If you do want to close through title and escrow, uh, closing costs will be the responsibility of you, the buyer. If you do want to close with us, with our attorney, we will handle the closing costs. They are substantially less. Anyway, all right, guys, with all that said, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you found this informative. Hope you agree with me that this is uh, just sort of an excellent investment property for anybody trying to break into sort of, um, you know, having a kind of land portfolio that you can begin to make money on passive income or otherwise. Blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, if you have questions, support at HemingwayLand.com. Leave a comment here on the YouTube channel or give us a call 702-919-7170. See you in the next video.